As riders, we commonly need a little pick-me-up. We need a little boost to help us perform better, or last longer, or maybe some days you're just tired and you need to feel a little more awake. I'm talking about like the Monster, the Energy, the Red Bull. There's loads of these things out there. You go into your local gas station and there's like, there's big fridges of them, right? But do they actually work? Do they actually do anything? That's what this video is gonna be about. In particular, part one, we're gonna see, are they helpful? Are they beneficial? Do they give you the energy boost that you're looking for? And if so, is there a better, healthier option out there? Or do we have to keep pounding back these things that you get at a gas station? Let's dig into it and find out. So first, we need to look at the ingredients to make a decision. Now Monster and Rockstar both have roughly 160 milligrams of caffeine. That's equivalent to around two cups of coffee. Red Bull, on the other hand, has a lower amount at roughly 30 milligrams. That's around the same amount as a small cup of coffee. Caffeine affects you through your central nervous system. It actually fights that sleepy time molecule called adenosine. Now here's the thing, a lot of these energy drinks have bigger options available, bigger bigger volume of it, and more caffeine available. That's really what they're using. But they also have other things in them that they're making claims that help you. Things like ginseng, green tea extract, and ginkgo bulka, if that's how you pronounce it. What about those? What does the data actually say? Is there any proof to these things helping us give us the energy boost that we're looking for? After looking past the main stimulant, the caffeine, next we have ginseng. There's actually no concrete studies to show that this does a single thing in terms of increasing energy. In fact, if you look through any of the literature on it, they talk more about strengthening the immune system and helping with blood sugar levels, which are just claims. None of it is backed. Next up, B vitamins. Now, the problem here is that your body maintains a certain level of these, so any extra and above that, your body just flushes it out. You literally piss away the extra. You do not use it as a fuel source. Taurine is a common ingredient, and taurine is an amino acid. And the layman's notes about this are that if you're in a deficiency, it'll show a reduction in exercise capacity. In fact, studies have shown that a deficiency in taurine can cause up to 80% decrease. Now that's in mice and not people, but it's food for thought nonetheless. What about green tea extract? Now, this is a complete nonsense because green tea extract just adds a few more milligrams of caffeine, nothing more. Now that's some clever marketing. What about guana or guarana or however you pronounce it? You guessed it, caffeine. Four times the amount of caffeine that's in coffee, by the way. So they're just stacking more caffeine on caffeine that's already stacked on caffeine. Here's a good one, ginkgo bilboba. More ancient Chinese herbs, and the science? Well, it doesn't show very promising. There is no conclusive evidence that it does anything, much like a lot of the ancient Chinese herbs. And lastly, carnitine. Now, this one is legit. If the energy drink of your choice actually contains this, this is one of the few things it actually has that has science to back it up. Its role is to transport fatty acids into the mitochondria so that they're used to produce energy. So in layman's terms, that means it burns your body fat for fuel and uses it like a little transport truck to get it from body fat to energy. That's pretty important when it comes to energy production within your body. So come on, they've got caffeine and aside from those two ingredients that I told you about, they got a bunch of herbs in there that, come on, they really don't do anything. I suspect if you do feel like you have more energy from these energy drinks, it's just through that placebo effect that they're going to have on you. And really, I think that's about it. Now, what about healthier, safer options? Yes, there are some, and I'm gonna go over that in part two. There's a bunch of ingredients that actually have a lot of science behind them to show you that it can increase your performance and help you with some endurance, things like that. So stay tuned for part two of the, do these energy drinks really even work? Hope you liked the video. Smash that subscribe button for me. You know I appreciate it. Stay safe, ride safe. We'll see you out on the track trailer road.